Hello there, and welcome to yet another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer, myself. I'm Jesse, and uh, I'm about to review another beer that I've never had before. Um, guy at uh, my local beer store talked me into this one today. Um, I definitely needed some talking into to get it, because even though it does look good, it's expensive as shit. I think I paid like uh, 16 almost $16 for a six-pack, so it's pretty pretty expensive um but it looks really really good this is terrapins muhu chocolate milk stout so and it, it says chocolate milk stout not milk chocolate stout so i'm um, i'm excited to try this uh i've had milk stouts before i've had chocolate stouts i've never had a chocolate milk stout so i am excited to try this and i love on the top of the can here it says cowbell more cowbell i mean like that that's that's pretty good. Um, everyone knows, of course, you know the SNL skit with Christopher Walken where Will Ferrell's doing the cowbell. I think it's Blue Oyster Cult uh, doing um, "Don't Fear the Reaper." And uh, when I just noticed that on the can a minute or two ago, and I, it it made me smile. So anyway, um, let's uh, let's get into the numbers on this beer. Beer Advocate gives it an 88, which is very good, and that's with 582 ratings. The Bros give it an 88, which is very good, so it's a pretty good number so far. And then Rate Beer gives it a 96 overall with a 95 for the style. It has an ABV of 6%, so it's a little higher than your average stout, um, which is normally like like Guinness or something. I think that's somewhere somewhere in the 4 range, between 4 and 5. Um, so it's a little bit higher than that. Um, it, the availability is winter, so um, this is, I mean, it's, it's November now, so they, these probably just, just came out. The style is a milk or a sweet stout, and it has 30 IBUs, which is a little, a little bitter on, uh, a little bitter on, uh, you know, for a, a, a sweet stout, but um, I'm assuming that has nothing to do with hops, that's to do with the, the burnt roastier malts. Um, and if you didn't know, Terrapin, is, that's the Terrapin Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. Now, the only beers I've ever had from Terrapin were, um, I believe, it, the Hobsecutioner um, Double IPA and their Rye IPA. I may have had another one or two, um, like out at, at uh, like when I was at the bar or something. Um, I don't really remember. But So anyway, let's uh, let's re read a quick script here. It's... Uh, the Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout proudly uses cocoa nibs and shells from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company to give this beer its chocolatey great taste. So I love stouts. I love chocolate stouts. So very, very excited to try this. Again, I just, oh man, I, I love that. <laughs> Cowbell, I have a fever. And the only... Cure is more cowbell. That's a terrible, terrible Christopher Walken impression, but I have no shame. So let's go ahead and uh, get this cracked open here. Ooh, that that looks pretty good. What is this port? Ooh, nice. Inky, inky black. That's what you want to see. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Over here. That that looks absolutely gorgeous. Black as the night. I mean, you know, you hold it up to the light here, and yeah, I'm seeing absolutely nothing through it. Just pitch black. You see a couple bubbles here and there clinging to the side of the glass, but um nice, I'd say one and a half, two finger head. Um Dark tan, nice, uh, you know, kind of a light milk chocolatey color. Looks looks very, very good. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's go ahead and get a nose on this. All right, first off, it smells extremely sweet. Extremely chocolatey. It smells almost like a yoo -hoo. I mean, it's called Muhu. It almost smells like, a, you know, a yoo yeah, those, those malts are, I mean, you can smell the cocoa nibs in there. Um, on top of that, you smell a roastiness, that nice roastiness from the dark um, chocolate roasted malts. And the, the um, there's probably some caramel malts in there. Not picking up on any hops, but. Yeah, 
maybe a little like almost like a vanilla or a coconut type thing going on there too. So anyway, uh, let's uh, jump into this one. That is delicious. Sweet, but not too sweet. There's a little bit of a bitterness at the back end from those nice roasty chocolate malts. Um, it's, uh, I mean, you can definitely taste the cocoa nibs in there. You can, you know, that the fact that there's actual cocoa in this as opposed to just, uh, actual cocoa in this as opposed to, you know, just chocolate malts. Um, it's, it's roasty. It's, it's slight, just a hair, like slightest bit smoky. Um, it, it's roasty. It's, it's, it's robust. Um, again, sweet, but not overly sweet. Um, there's the slightest hint of like, uh, like, um, like cherry, like a dark, like black tart cherry in there almost. Um, and then, um, you get, you get a little hint of, of like, uh, almost like, like vanilla or something on the flavor. Very, very, very good. This, um... This tastes like uh, probably one of the better dessert beers I think I've ever had. I'd put this up there with like like green flashes, like double chocolate stout or um, Founders breakfast stout. This is a quality, quality stout. It's it's probably my favorite style. Um, it's up there with my favorite styles. I'd have to say my favorite is probably a, like probably a brown ale or something, but. It's, Brown ales, stouts, porters, the really darker, more robust beers. Those are definitely my favorite. And um, so I'm a little biased going into this anyway. Um, but it, 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 on one hand, it makes me a little biased. But on the other hand, it, it, it makes my critique a little more, you know, uh, it, it, may, it can make it a little a little worse too. Because if, you know, if, if the style, if it's done wrong, I'm going to be a heavier critic of it. But um, I think this is a great execution. This is a really, really good beer. Very, very tasty. Very well done. This would be a great dessert beer. This would be a great beer to have with dessert or just to have for dessert. Um, you know, as a, or even just after dinner. You know, you're smoking a, smoking a cigarette, smoking a cigar, something like that. So go very, very well with that. I'm going to give this beer a 9 out of 10 um, because it is very, very good. It's one of the better ones that I've had, but... Um, <laughs> I don't know if I I don't it, I don't know if I, I'd put it up there with uh, I've have had a couple couple other stouts um, that I thought were a little better than this so um, definitely it's right up there it's it's as good as a ten but I'm just gonna hit it with a nine just because I it, it could have been a little better but I mean it's still it's all it's almost perfect it's very very good beer if you see it definitely pick it up who gives a shit about the price. Um, Pick it up. So definitely get the Terrapins Chocolate Milk Stout. It is delicious. It's a great beer. Great dessert beer. Chocolatey, sweet, delicious. The whole package. So 9 out of 10 for me. Um, thank you for watching and keep watching again in the future for more reviews. Post.